We all know that douche YouTuber scrubs often promote products without much integrity. They don't mention the downsides of the product. They're promoted by the company. They get the free gear and the sponsorships. It happens all the time. It happens to me. I get free gear from Ulanzi and Viltrox and I'm the one that always tells you the bad things about it and I'm always shocked that companies continue to send me stuff. Not many companies, only a couple fringe groups. But hot damn, we know this happens and I cannot believe that Insta360 has been caught red-handed telling YouTubers, hey man, just don't tell people that we're sponsoring this video. It'll sound more genuine this way. I think they had a meeting about it. Hey YouTuber, we've been looking at your content. We're blown away, especially your last video. This one, we definitely watched it. Oh, do you want to work with us? You can promote this product. We'll give it to you for free. Oh, what do you think? Oh boy, okay, um, yeah, definitely. Let's collab here. So like, what do you have? What's the new product? I can't, I've never had this opportunity in my life. I, I'm gonna give the best review, I swear. Oh, we know. So basically, uh, we're gonna send you our new Insta360 Ace Pro Mark II. It has AI within an algorithm of robotic AI chances. And it's gonna be great. We just don't mention that we gave it to you. And just give a nice, honest review. Is that legal? I th like, it says in my YouTube contract that you have to disclose partnerships. So like, I'll just say Insta360, sent me this but it's my own review and this is a super honest review i'm not desperate to receive more gear i would never lie and say oh this is good when it's bad just so you'll send me another one i'm not that kind of guy but you could be though right it's kind of fun like a company gives you a product maybe there's also 500 dollars in it for you what do you think of that and so you just say it's a great camera and don't mention the fact that the skin tones look like you were scraped in the face with sand. Don't say it overheats. There's a couple things we're working on. It's coming in a firmware. We're going to fix it. Just don't mention those things or the sponsorship. Definitely not the 500 or the free camera. But my mom told me to never lie. Now that she's gone, I, it's the only thing I can really do for her. She was so disappointed in everything I've done so far, but if I at least continued not lying. She might be smiling on me from above. So like, I'm gonna give an honest review. And that's what you want in the end, isn't it? An honest review of your product, and then when I give you constructive criticism, you know what to work on to fix your next one. And that's how we all get better. It sounds good on paper, but if you just lie really good, you'll sound trustworthy. And It'll just sound so genuine. Like when you're lying, we'll teach you how to lie. There's things you look up into the left and there's the right and the little eye twitches and just, you have to lie with perfect eye contact and you never break it. We'll teach that to you in our course. We'll, for free. Do you want the course? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Can you see the irony here? where a company says, I can't believe this was a sentence that someone felt like, yeah, you know what, let's send that. Don't tell people that your video is sponsored. It will sound more genuine and honest by lying. It will sound better. How could you do this to us? I mean, I'm sick of YouTube. It's so bad, like not just camera gear reviews, but you review anything. What's the best Bitcoin to buy? Like, what's the best wallet? And then you look and it's like 15 seconds into the video, like sponsored by the and links down below and get 15% off. Like you, it's so annoying. YouTube is literally littered with junk advertisements from YouTubers. Like here's the top 10 of this. My number one pick is the company that sent this to me. Whoops. It's like, I get it. But hot damn, you don't have to lie, you piece of trash. When a company sends me something to review, say Viltrox sends me their 16 mil 1.8 for Nikon or something. That certainly hasn't happened. I'll review it, I'll compare it, I'll see what it's like. 
it's usually not great. I'm always insulting that it doesn't have the 3D pop and it's, it's okay, the stave's not great, it's not behaving well with the camera. And it is what it is, but hot damn, like you can trust me when I tell you that something, here's what it is, like that Ulanzi hiking tripod sticks thing, like it was cool. Would I ever use it? No. Did I sell it immediately? Yes. But I told you that in the video and somebody might find use for that. They're hiking. I've had a couple of comments on that video. It's like, yeah, I've been looking for like trekking poles and it's like, that kind of fits. So it's like, it's a cool product. Here's the deal with YouTubers though. We get sent stuff and then we review that. But the real review that you want is the guy who knew about that product but searched on his own to find the best one and then he spent his money on that best one. That's the problem. Like I'm very honest in my reviews, but I'm reviewing that tripod because they sent it to me. So like I'm here promoting it in a way and saying like, hey, here's a tripod, it's a hiking thing. Are there other products like that? I don't know. Why would there be? It's the dumbest product I've ever seen. Oh my God, a little mouse. Oh, that was cuteness waiting to be filmed oh boy that was oh my god a bee hey bumble boy how you doing do you want to land on me you don't so i'm just saying in general youtubers cannot be trusted because of that fact that they were given the gear and even though some of them are very critiquing with their reviews and they mention the flaws and they're good people at heart they didn't buy it. They didn't do the research and then decide on that one. That's where you can trust the YouTuber who's doing his own thing. Like Marcus Picks, I'm pretty sure he doesn't get sent stuff. And he just like, he researches like, okay, I want a bunch of light stands and here's the best 50 that I bought and tried every single one and I weighed it and I flew with each one individually to the Peru mountains. And so like he knows, he has experience and he's not trying to make money from you. The reason I'm making this video is because iPhone Doe got like he was talking to some other YouTuber and the YouTuber shared with him like look at this email Insta360 asked me to not tell them about the sponsorships which is illegal and like they're asking me it'll sound more genuine this way when we lie to your face and so like I was just disgusted so I've boycotted Insta360 from now on till forever you're done and you, you don't I'm all about truth. That's why I'm here on this plain flat earth type thing. I just want to discover lies for everything. What's the best diet? What's the best camera? What's the best this and that? I just want to discover the truth. Like I started my channel Vegetable Police a long time ago and I was looking at Oreo cookies and one of them said zero trans fats. I'm like, wow. And then I looked at the next one, it was double cream and it had 0.1 grams of trans fats. And I'm like, I looked at the ingredients, they were identical ingredients. How does one not have trans fats? It's just their way of lying to you because the double cream had slightly more calories per serving. It's like, okay, now we have to label trans fats. So it's like companies are lying to you every day and I'm so sick of it. And YouTubers are just going along with it because you're desperate you like getting free gear, it's fun. It is fun times. Boom, Viltrox lens, and then if it's not good, I can sell it for 600, and it's like, cool. That's like, that's worth my time. I have fun reviewing it. I sell it off, I make money. I make money from the review. So it's like, there's ways to succeed without lying through your teeth. I'm 100% certain there's been other companies that have said that to YouTubers. It just hasn't leaked yet. So Insta360 is the first one and it's an easy ban forever. I will never review an Insta360 product. I might give my opinions on their likely terrible products in the future, they're all shit. I sold my Ace Pro just a couple weeks ago. I was like, I'm done with that. I don't care what it does. I don't care your 8K, your little AI modes. I hate AI. <laughs> But we have to stand with integrity here. When you find a company like that, that's willing to lie to your face, they want to hide things. You just, you don't support them. Okay, you've done that. Now all us top freaking 50 YouTubers here, we're going to say, no, I'm not reviewing your product ever again. Not that they were going to offer me one. The guy sent me one after I complained about it. I was like, 
this is pretty crap 8k why are you doing that you're not in focus still it's a vlogging cam what are you talking about and then the guy reached out to me from insta360 and he was like hey man come on let me go through the presentation here and maybe you'll like it and then we'll send you one so he sent it to me i reviewed it and i was like it's kind of fun with the ai but it's still like everything i said was true you're not in focus the skin tones were way worse than i even imagined and that guy never talked to me again after that review which was just honest i gave him all the things that they should improve and work on to be the ultimate thing and instead of taking that constructive criticism and be like okay that's we'll work on that he ignored me and i even asked him like do i keep this camera like do you want it back like i don't get it and he never answered so i was like okay i guess it's mine and i used it for a while with the workout videos doing ai and now that this came out i'm just like i'm not doing this like i don't like your company i hate liars so we're done with them forever the sun came out and now i'm overexposed Oh, I did not plan ahead for that. Oh, clouds, why do you do that? So if you have any integrity as a YouTuber, you will not review Insta360 products from now on because we know they lie and their products aren't even that good. So it's like, you're not losing much. You're losing over-sharpened, over-saturated digital footage with gimmicks attached to them for way too much money. And just the worst people. Like these are the people that, no, bro. We're definitely overexposed now. I moved. Oh yeah, take that sunshine. So Insta360, what the hell were you thinking? I, how many other companies are there that are doing that? I've been offered cameras. I've been in touch with Fuji and Panasonic. None of them have ever said, please say this. They just stop working with me for whatever reason. Like Fuji just ghosted my ass after the XS10 review which was a very balanced review. All I said was that the vlogging stabe wasn't the best, but it was like a pretty good review. And like all my Panasonic reviews are very balanced. I tell you what's wrong with the camera and what's good. And here's what you might find if you actually spend money on it. So like, I want to save you money. And most of these companies just ghost my ass. Sony ghosted. Panasonic, I don't know, man. As of right now, there's like an event coming. Usually they send me a camera. Is it coming? I have no idea why is the sun getting so bright again. But sorry for being honest and not caring about my fellow scrub on the other side watching this. What do I spend my money on? My mom's money, she's gonna give me some this weekend. What should I buy? I don't want you to waste your time when, oh my God, the stabilization. It's set on paper, it had eight stops. Why is it so shaky? I wish somebody would have tested this and told me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm your hero. I'm wearing this yellow as a bee man. Come on, bee man, you can trust me. But we will likely still need to sift through the paid advertisements. They never disclose it and they're just lying to your face. There's many channels out there, you know it. You know who you are. I ain't gonna call anybody out, but some are just like, what the hell? That's so obvious you were sent it and you've said nothing bad about it, grow a sack, grow some integrity, and work for your fellow man, because all these lies just hurt your fellow person who's like trying to make YouTube videos like you or taking pictures for some reason. Help each other out, you bunch of scrub donkey bitches. I will leave now. How you doing? You agree with some of what I said? Is the 3D pop real? Am I overexposed, thus ruining the shot? <laughs> Uh, that could have happened. Oh, zebras are a bitch. I'll leave, though. How you do? Subscribe for more videos, Hannah.